The news for you tonight, self-driving cars are closer than you think to being a reality right here in the Alamo City. The software company Waymo rolling out some of those vehicles on our streets today. News for San Antonio's Destiny Fuller joins us live with where exactly they're being tested. Fill us in, Destiny. Jonathan, Mandy, I'm on the west side and this is where the wheels are turning on this project. This is one of eight locations that the Waymo teams came, brought the cars and tested the streets, putting us one step closer to being sharing those roads with self-driving cars. It's an experience that has the potential to change how we move around the city, minimizing driver error by putting self-driving cars on our streets. Would that solve some of the issues we experience? The answer is yes, to some extent. Uh, eliminating the uh, human factor in some of the crashes we experience. UTSA professor Samir Dasowski has done research on autonomous vehicles, adding human errors like drunk driving, tiredness, and distracted driving all contribute to the thousands of crashes on Texas roads each year. Waymo sharing data on its website, showing an 81% drop in injury crashes in cities where AVs are already on the road, like in San Francisco and Phoenix. Uh, San Antonio is not immune. Uh, there is always issues that uh, can be done and resolved in order to improve the operation of those autonomous vehicles. Waymo representatives say that's exactly what their team is trying to do. Today, crews took their fleets to the streets. Traveling around the Shearer Hills, Harris, Gardendale, and Tobin Hill neighborhoods, also hitting spots on I-10, 35, 37, and 281. It's really a collaboration. Uh, between the, the uh, manufacturers of those vehicles as well as the uh, uh, Department of Transportation, the municipalities, the counties. Dasuski adding his belief that those groups need to make a significant investment to the city's infrastructure. Waymo officials say this is only step one of the process. First, they'll start with human driving, transitioning to self-driving with human supervision before sending the cars out on their own. All these interactions could be adding to uh, a unique situation that maybe the software or the algorithms never been exposed to. Uh, so do you expect some... Uh, uh, glitching in the beginning. You expect something sometimes unusual uh, reflections and reactions from these vehicles. Uh, we're hoping that no crashes would happen. Uh, uh, that's a that's a hope uh, until these trained algorithms get to the point that uh, get itself accustomed. Now, it'll still be a while before you're able to jump into a way more car yourself. Their teams are still going to have to test the roads and send that data back to their engineers. If everything runs as it's supposed to, you'll be able to try a self-driving car with just a touch of a button on your phone. Reporting live from the West Side, I'm Destiny Fuller.